food is a very, very essential part of how we feel every day. But it's beyond nutrition. Pasta is actually also one of my favorite dishes, but I don't eat wheat and gluten, and that's one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. So I use either brown rice or quinoa pasta, but one of my absolute favorites is soba noodles. Uh, soba noodles is also really good for the kidneys. It's very high in protein compared. It's a completely different flour product than your typical pasta. So, now we have boiled the soba noodles. It only takes about eight minutes, but you have to be careful not to overcook them. And, and you have to rinse them in cold water afterwards. So it's good to have them inside one of these. So you can just basically throw them under the sink in the water, get it through, because then they're ready. So now you can take your soba noodles and just mix them into the, to the plate here. They, um, if you overcook them, they'll fall apart, which is okay, doesn't really matter. But to dress them up and make them look nice, you can make a little mountain of soba noodles. So we're going to put a couple of frozen peas that have been thawed and just a slight steam to them. You can also use fresh peas, but they're not always in season, so frozen peas are okay. Edamame beans, same thing. We gave them a little fast boil of five minutes. Some sugar snap peas, same thing, just a little flash blanching. It's all it needs. You don't want to cook these things too much. You want to keep it fresh and nice. You can top it off with a little bit of scallions if you like the spice and crunch that that adds to it. What you can notice here is that we're starting to really make it super green and yummy. You can also lift it up a little bit if you like your things to be mixed in a little bit more, right? I made a tamari, which is the soy sauce, and mirin, an olive oil dressing, and a little bit of lemon juice. So if you want to add a little spice, you can use a little bit of chili flakes. You can avoid it if you don't. This is a lot of chili flakes, it's gonna make it spicy. And then just pour that over. You don't use the whole thing, you just pour a little bit. Top it with some black sesame seeds. And then you can add a little garnish of fresh cilantro. So when you've cooked your soba noodles, you can mix it with more vegetables and with greens. So for a pasta dish or a soba noodle dish to be less carb heavy, you actually add more greens. So when in doubt, add more greens. It's the same thing with your pasta or with your soba noodles.